Carrie, do your thing. March 27th, 1998. Oh. March 27th, 1998 was a Tuesday. Sunrise was at 5.46 a.m. The Knicks beat the Grizzlies 97-89 for their 40th win. And most important of all around here, the FDA approved Viagra. <laughs> Fantastic. It's about a woman, Carrie Wells, who has total recall, which is perfect autobiographical memory, and it's both a blessing and a curse. You can't stop being a cop. Oh, I can. Some things you want to forget. Freedom! So why can't I be now? This show is a cop show on the surface, but underneath that, it's about two people who used to work together, used to be in love. Now they've come back into each other's lives and, and they're going to help solve crimes. So she remembers what? Like facts and stuff? Fact patterns, crime scenes, witness testimony. Once she's got them, she's got them. The show is set in New York, but mostly in Queens. We're a Queens a detective in the middle of all of it. Queens has all kinds of different communities and, and all kinds of energy, and I think it hasn't been seen a lot on television. I'm asking you to help as a witness. I didn't see anything. You don't know what you saw. You know what I mean. We're going into her mind, and we're watching her watch herself. You've never seen anything like this. She walks into her own memory and kind of looks at herself and looks what happened to refine and even re-explore any detail that, that was in that memory. Are we supposed to hold hands or something? If there's chanting, I am so out. What sets it apart is there's this heart that the characters, the police officers, have great respect for one another. This is a very character-driven show. You lose one, you might lose some chemistry. All I'm trying to do, if you would listen, is tell you what will and will not work in a murder investigation. That's it. You know, what you're doing is you're bringing your past, your pain to the table. And if you remember, that's exactly what messes you up. Go to hell. Niels is a genius, and I'm obsessed with his work. Go With the Dragon Tattoo is one of my most favorite films. I must say it's been a, a really, really, really nice experience. I think we're coming together pretty well. It's got great writing. It's got extraordinary producers. It's got an extraordinary director and an amazing cast. I think it's going to be fantastic. <laughs>